everyone hope all of you are doing great so in the last video we had built our email subscription form in our nft marketplace in this video we are going to build a reusable title component because in this application in this nft marketplace we have a lot of title which is repeating in the sections so that's what we're going to build so let's come here so this is what we have built in the last video and in this we're going to focus on this title section okay we're going to design this particular one title as a component and we're going to use it in a multiple places as a reusable component and changing the data dynamically okay so that's what i'm going to focus in this that how you can build a reusable component and change the data dynamically okay so you don't need to write the same code over and over again so here we are in the code editor let's come up here and create a folder we'll call it title simply copy and we're going to create a file called title.gsx in that we're going to create another file called title module.css file okay so this is our title file we have simply come here type go to this type rafce close this one and type rafce react functional based component and we want to import the css file nothing is new you guys already know what we are doing okay if you are following the entire project from the beginning okay if you are watching straight away from this video then things becomes little complicated for you okay so make sure you follow other videos to have a complete grasp that what we are exactly building and what we are exactly working on and what pattern we are following so the css file will come from the same folder so that's our component and here we're going to receive the props so the first prop is going to be the heading and the second prop is going to be the paragraph okay so let's come here and let's come to this component index and we're going to import the component here so we'll say title coming from the same folder and simply copy and paste we have to export this as well default export okay so that's what we are doing here we have to import that in a index.js and now we can easily able to use it in our page so simply call the component okay so that's that simply close this one and close this one come here and now we can start writing the JSX. simply remove this take a dynamic instant return and take a div it will have a class called style and we'll call it let's say title and in that we're going to take another div it will have a class called style title box and in that we'll take a this h2 it will have our dynamic data heading and we'll have a paragraph it will have our dynamic data paragraphs so that's our reusable dynamic component okay so we are done with this now what we can do let's come here go to the go to this component section and here we have to send the props we are in the index.js and now we have to send the props so we'll call it so let's come here simply copy that and paste and here we have to pass the text we want to render okay so let's come here go to the original applications and from there we're going to copy the text simply copy that browse by category and simply pass it here okay now format this properly and now we're going to take the come here and copy that paragraph and simply pass the data so simply copy this and pass it here so this is how we are sending the props in our title component so it's looking good now let's come here go to this application right now we don't have anything you can see let's come here so what's the matter why it's not rendering so here we have the subscriber okay simply copy that it's working fine okay my fault we have to restart the application so type npm run dev and click on this 3000 close all the tabs and let's scroll down and here you can see that our dynamic content is working so we have the title and we have the paragraph okay now bring the terminal down and now we're going to style that component so simply come here and go to this style file title style file and now we start styling this one so first thing we're going to do is target the title and width is going to be 100 percent and title box width will have its 80 percent and margin zero or two then come down let's target the title box h2 and font size is going to be 3 ram a little bigger and line head is going to be zero so this is how it will look 
now let's come down let's write the media query so and it will say min device width is going to be 320 pixels and the of the second one is going to be let's say max device width it's going to be around 425 pixels we're going to target the title box width is going to be 90 percent then again we are going to target the title box h2 and we're going to make the font size to 1.8 ram so let's save it and we're going to say line height is going to be zero so it's looking perfect you can see it's looking perfect the thing we have in the design is look like the same okay make it big and it will look good responsive and that's how it will look on a bigger let's make it big close this file okay let's close this one open this index.js simply cut this and paste above this and now simply save it and now we're going to simply push this code to get up okay so we are done with this reusable component so i hope you guys have understood that how you can build a reusable component and use it over and over again so this time we have built the component and you will find in the later video that how we are utilizing that as a component okay so let's push this code to get up so you guys can get it as a as a starter file or as a complete file okay simply delete this one and delete permanently delete one and simply get in it initialize it and type get add dot hit enter come to get up and simply open the get up and create a new pro project nft marketplace i'll call it title hit enter and here we you have to run the command so simply copy and hit enter copy the branch hit enter copy the project hit enter and now finally we have to push the project to get up so just wait this process will take a little bit time so it's working fine you can see the upload is happening very fast because i have a fast net just wait so finally we have successfully pushed the code to get up and now simply clear the terminal and now come to get up and reload the browser and here you can find inside the component we have this title and all the code we have written okay so that's working fine so let's come to other applications and here it's looking absolutely great let's come back to the original one and in the next video we're going to build this category section okay so we have this category nice category over section that's what we're going to build in the next video okay simply come back to the code and close all the files and now let's move to the next video